hey, come here. It's a 70s dance party. <laughs> I'm Angela, you're watching Day One Reacts to Music, and it's a 70s dance party. For the next couple of weeks, I'll be reacting to your favorite dance songs from the decade of the 70s. I think the best way to judge how well I love a song is how much the camera will go out of focus because I'm moving around too much. So we will see for each song. All right, um, we're gonna get started. Now you guys know how I like to uh, go start from the beginning of the, the decade and go in order by year. And that's because I like to watch how um, the music um, evolves within the decade. I think that also gives you some like uh, little hints on how what to expect in the coming decade and how music is going to change within the, the next decade that's coming along. So that's why I like to go in order. And I was pretty surprised that I didn't get a lot of songs that was from the early 70s. Actually, the first song that's coming up is from 1974. And I thought I was going to get something pretty early, but we're in 1974. And the artist is... Barry White. The title of the song is Can't Get Enough of Your Love Babe, released in 1974. And before we get started, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know the next time when my videos is being uploaded. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. Let's take a listen. I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. That man, boys, but come on. I don't know about that. Many times that we've loved and we've shared love and made love. It doesn't seem to me like it's enough. It's just not enough. Baby. It's just not enough. I'm 
big ones, right? Oh, so kind of. This is definitely like one of those hustle songs or ballroom songs you would listen to that, that I think that makes me think of. Okay. Oh, I'm starting something different for this theme. I'm going to do like a rating for it. It's going to call it the boogie meter <laughs> and it'll be from one to five and one being like, uh, it was all right. Yeah, I like it. I shake my shake, shake, shake a little bit. But if I really get into it, it's one of those songs that make you just, just go, oh my God, I love it so much. I can't wait to hear it. I wanted to get on the dance floor and boogie my butt off. Then that's a five. So it's between uh and boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> So, um, first let's talk about the song. Uh, when I think of soul R&B voices, besides Sam Cooke, who I know I love, <laughs> I think of uh, Barry White, especially, was it? this is baritone, right? Is it baritone or tenor? I always get that mixed up. I'm assuming this is a baritone voice. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But when I think of like that deep, rich, like, you know, melty voice, I think of Barry White's voice. He just is just phenomenal. He was a legend for a reason. His voice was kills every time I ever hear his voice. Even if it's a song I'm not crazy about, his voice always carried me through. <laughs> um, have I heard the song before? Yes, I have. This is one of those songs that you will hear at your at a wedding, or I would hear it at a family reunion all the time. I one of those songs that I really never paid attention to, but were also like you know your friends and your family would get up on the dance floor, your, your aunties and your uncles would get out there and start boogieing to it. And you go, oh, okay, yeah. And you really didn't pay attention to it. But it's me sitting down and actually listening to it and, and absorbing it and actually paying attention to it. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. Now for the boogie meter, um, I put it at a three. I'll say halfway. It's not a, oh my God, I love it so much. I must be on the dance floor when this song hits. It's not one of those kind of things, but it's a, yeah, I would dance along to it and enjoy myself with my family, my friends. So it'll be a three for me. Let me know what your favorite, well, let me know what your scale is on the boogie meter. Is it a, between a one and a five? Let me know what you guys think. Um, also, give me, let me know what you guys think of the song in the comments below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a Patreon member. Over there, you can watch videos back by YouTube. YouTube. We've got the Eagles, the Beatles, Barb Marley, and Jimi Hendrix. Um, I got an Elvis Presley uh, reaction that was blocked here on YouTube, but you can see that over on my Patreon. It's from his, his comeback tour or his comeback special. Um, the song is titled uh, Trying to Get to You. So good performance. Great performance. You can check that out over my Patreon. Also, I have expanded my content over on Patreon to include television shows. And the first show that I'm reacting to is called The Good Place. It stars Ted Danson and Kristen Bell, cute sitcom by The Afterlife. I release an episode every Thursday for Comedy Thursdays. Also, you can purchase t-shirts and mugs linked to my stores in the description below. And if you like this video, please share it out with your friends. And don't forget to give me your rating on the scale one to five on the boogie meter. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.